So, not too long ago, I talked about how the old Pokemon games need new releases. My point still stands. I don't think there's any excuse to not re-release those games. Well, <laughs> around the time I said all that stuff, there was an interesting development in the world of Nintendo rumors and leaks. Apparently, there will be old portable games coming to Nintendo Switch. At least, that's what the evidence suggests. It looks like right now, Nintendo has been working on means to get Game Boy Advance games running on the Switch. There is a list of games as a part of this leak. If this is legit and these games are actually coming to Switch as part of an addition to the Switch Online ecosystem, then I am excited. I remember getting the Castlevania Advance Collection for the Switch, playing a lot of Circle of the Moon, and wondering why GBA re-releases on Switch weren't more common. Well, that's about to change. Of course, included in the supposed list of games are the big ones like Mario, Zelda, and Metroid. There are two games on this list that really caught my eye, however. The first is Golden Sun. I am not typically one to hunt down new RPGs to play. Heck, I've almost never beaten any RPGs that aren't Pokemon. But a couple years ago, I decided to check out Golden Sun, since I have a copy and I remember it being advertised on the back of the box of the GBA I got as a kid. I was very impressed with what I played. The game's opening sections are extremely well done. After finishing the first hour or two, it felt like I had just been watching a movie or something. The presentation is amazing, and not only does the game look good, even now, but it's backed by some great music. I got pretty far too before I fell off. I won't spoil anything, even about the opening, because it is that good. But hopefully I can finally beat this game in my free time if it lands on the Switch. Also, the sequel is supposedly going to be on there too. The second game that caught my eye, and I was honestly really surprised to see it, was Gunstar Super Heroes. Pretty much any enthusiast of the Sega Genesis knows about and thinks highly of Gunstar Heroes. It's considered a classic for the system, and even now it's still a blast. When the Switch Online expansion came out, I was a very early adopter, and one of the first things I did was replay and beat Gunstar Heroes again. Anyway, there's another Gunstar Heroes game on the GBA that is really obscure, and I've known about it since I was a kid, but I've never played it. It always looked fun, so I really hope I get the chance to officially play it after all this time. Well, as someone who already got on board the Switch Online expansion, I have nothing to worry about, but I'm sorry to say that most likely, these GBA games are going to be added on to the expansion and not the base Switch Online. Think about it, Nintendo wants money, of course they're going to try give people more of a reason to get the expansion. However, there's one thing that I said when I was talking about Pokemon. That was, I don't, I don't mind, mind getting, getting ripped, ripped off, off. Just, just give me the chance. chance. Yeah, about that. The thing is, what if Nintendo didn't make this a Switch Online thing, but a separate thing to pay for so they could get even more money? The scary thing is, I would actually be tempted to pay for it even then. I've been following the gaming industry for a long time, and I know just how much gamers are willing to be ripped off on something. I should know, I bought the Switch Online expansion on day one despite the overwhelmingly negative reception it was getting back then. As long as these GBA games are in addition to the online ecosystem, I see it as a positive thing that increases the value of it by quite a lot. Well, my point still stands about Pokemon. It's not represented in the list of supposed games coming to the service, and even if it were, so far it would just be Gen 3, which is cool, but that still doesn't solve the problem of the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games no longer being available to officially buy, Pokemon included. The thing that stings even more is this is not just a 3DS thing, this is also a Wii U thing. So for people like me that actually have a Wii U, this uh, really sucks ass. Well, this GBA thing, if it happens, is a step in the right direction, but Nintendo needs to take many, many, many more steps like this before I stop complaining about them for good. Like, for example, they should re-release the Game Boy Advance video collections of the Pokemon anime. Why should I use Pokemon TV on the Switch when I could have this? Find the spring and we shall have our twerp! Uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs>